Our first year, we were an indie band. We had done, I believe, a demo, you know, in our mm -hmm. basement with, I don't know, maybe six or so songs. Um, we knew some people with life promotions that were just really kind to us, and they said, how about um, we will give you the slot after, um, I believe it was DC Talk was going to play main stage, and we'll give you the 10 o'clock slot at the end of the night on the edge stage. Oh, cool. And we were like, amazing. So, um, so we came here the whole weekend and we walked around with bull horns saying <laughs> hey go to the edge stage at 10 after dc talk and see super chick and people would be like who's super chick and we would be like us <laughs> um, and we just made friends with people and it became this community and so that night we were nervous and we were pretty awful live because we were a new band and um but we were on stage like about to start and nobody was there yet you know dc talk had just finished and and suddenly we saw like a throng of people walking towards our stage and we were all like are they coming to see us because um and they were and it literally was like a full crowd at the edge stage that came to see a band that no one had ever heard of and <laughs> after that we just felt like this was family and it's been a place that we were so excited to come to every summer yeah. I mean, there's just something so comfortable with it. I've done a lot. I've done some solo stuff for a few years, and and there's just never been anything as fun as the chemistry we had together on stage, and it was just a God thing. It was just, it, you know, we did it for so many years, probably 17 that we played together. Um, it did become family, and there was just a comfort level. I could look at one of them, and they knew what I was thinking on stage, and I could, you know, cue one of them so easily, and, and that's hard to recreate. And, um, and yeah, no matter what we're all doing, we don't all see each other a lot, even though most of us live in Nashville. But getting together, it just became the old jokes, <laughs> the silly stuff, you know, which is what it was. We were like brothers and sisters. Yeah. Since Super Chick um, kind of decided we were going to stop, I went on and I did a worship record and I did also just a pop solo record. and I. I mostly toured the, the, the worship record, and I did like acoustic worship nights with my husband um, for about a year or so, and uh, and some full band stuff with the pop record, and it was a really it was a really cool thing. It was a really hard transition from being with the same band for that long, um, because I didn't have that like safety net. I didn't have my band all there, you know. It, it felt <laughs> weird, but God really blessed it. Some of them were just these small worship events, but. It became um, a time when I could like become really good friends with people because uh, they were able to ask me questions and we hung out after the show and it wasn't a big crowd and, and it was a it was a cool experience it was something in the beginning of my marriage for my husband and I to be able to tour and do worship nights it was a really cool thing so as a well I'm one I'm a mom that mm -hmm. consumes most of my time I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old oh wow. so I'm a full-time mom right now, but artistically, I'm actually working on a book. Oh, and cool. It's, it's my first, and I actually feel like um, that was the one thing in my life that God maybe spoke to me a long time ago that hadn't happened yet, was that I was going to be an author, and that I wanted to be, and that I love to write, and I love to share, and so my heart is maybe to start speaking, you know, once I start getting these books oh, cool. out about the things that I'm writing about, and the first topic is a little bit about the funny sides of life as a mom and knowing um, a lot of my friends right now who are going through the season with little kids and a lot of moms will understand where it's very lonely you're home every day with your kids and you want to be and you love them and it's amazing but it's a little isolating it's kind of tough um, I have a daughter with special needs my daughter has autism and so it changes things it everything isn't as simple as I'm gonna take the kids to the zoo by myself because that's a huge deal for me to do and um, I know a lot of parents going through the same thing and so my heart is going to be to do events for moms where we have daycare and they can come out with their friends and get community and be inspired and maybe do worship and so mm -hmm. that's kind of the next thing that I've seen God opening up in my life. Hi, I'm Trisha from Super Chick. Check out Generation Arise.